So all parties over there, of course, hoping uh, that they are able to make inroads as, of course, uh, they hope to make gains in the state of Kerala ahead of the general elections. Uh, Shubhi Mool, they're getting us those uh, pictures, those live pictures from Tiruvannandapuram. You can see those very colorful pictures depicting the art, the history, the culture, the rich art history and culture of the state of uh, Kerala. Shubhi, of course, uh, you were saying about the Vande Bharat Express. Uh, Shashi Tharoor, of course, a member of parliament who represents the constituency of Tiruvannandapuram, he put aside all political differences as well and he said that I'm all for development and I welcome this project to the state of Kerala. So this is of course a big moment for Kerala because it is the first Bande Bharat Express for the state. Let's listen in to reactions that are coming in on the announcement of that first Bande Bharat Express. I'm very excited to meet uh, our Honorable Prime Minister. I haven't even thought that I would get a chance like this. We will talk to him very well. Children were waiting, in fact, inside the Vande Bharat Express, uh, hoping uh, to, in fact, uh, meet Prime Minister Modi, have a word with him before, of course, he officially flags off the first Vande Bharat Express, which will ply between Tiruvannathapuram and Kasargod. He is, in fact, headed towards uh, Tiruvannathapuram Central Station as we speak. He is uh, accompanied by Railways Minister. Ashwini Vaishnav, who in fact was one of those who greeted him as he landed at the airport. Governor of the state, Arif Mohammed Khan, Chief Minister Pinaray Vijayan, as well as Member of Parliament from the Lok Sabha representing Tiruvannandapuram, Shashi Tharoor, were present at the airport as Prime Minister Modi landed in Tiruvannandapuram. In fact, Shibi Mol is joining us at the moment. Shibi, we heard some of those excited reactions from the children who are waiting at the Tiruvannandapuram Central Station at the moment to welcome Prime Minister Modi. This is a big project for the state of Kerala for which as I was earlier asking you even the Congress Member of Parliament who represents the constituency has kept political differences aside and said development is always welcome. Well, absolutely, follow me. Uh, in fact, this is a major project for Kerala, and also we can say politically, we say it's a project, uh, you know, that's going to do a lot of good for the BJP because uh, the BJP here uh, has uh, uh, used this politically because they've been saying over the last few months that they're very sure that, you know, Kerala will get its first Vande Bharat train or Vande Bharat Express. And uh, when it was actually here in Tiruvandapuram, when it took its first trial run, uh, the BJP leadership said that, you know, we have kept our word, or our Prime Minister and Centre had kept its word of granting Kerala its first Vande Bharat Express. But here on ground, the, right now, the CPM and the Congress have, of course, uh, taken the steps taken by uh, the BJP politically right now very seriously. They, have, they are really taking measures to tackle this strategy by the BJP. Now, yesterday, uh, Prime Minister had this UN conference where he interacted with the young voters, where he addressed the young voters. A similar program has been launched by the Congress to tackle this next month in May, where Rahul Gandhi, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi will be in Kochi uh, to attend a similar conference. They have also been, it has also been titled Yuva, uh, where he will also address young voters, uh, you know, meet with them, have uh, discussions with them. So uh, the Congress here uh, has been uh, taking this very seriously. We have to see because uh, the, B the BJP is Christian vote bank outreach is something that's being worrying for the Congress because it's their very strong vote bank, especially in the central Kerala. Uh, it's the, it's the uh, Congress that, you know, uh, dominated over the years. Congress have had 
most of their seeds from the central Kerala region where there is a lot of Christian population. So it's something that's been worrying for the Congress and over the last few years they have not had a Christian faith also. Uh, earlier they had Uman Chanti and people like A.K. Anthony but right now they've all retired from politics and they don't have a leader from the community to showcase and convince the uh, community. So a lot of worrying factors for the Congress right now and the CPM also of course taking it very seriously. They're also planning to tackle this but it's the Congress that's reacted because they know very well if this reach, this outreach goes on to be successful, it's going to be a very big setback for them because it's a state where they have a strong base. It's not yet, uh, you know, the base or anything is not yet damaged. It's still in very good organizations. They still have a very good organization structure here in Kerala. So it's something that's been very worrying for the Congress and they're on the field right now, uh, you know, trying to tackle this. They're on the field right now, uh, you know, trying to tackle this. Right.